Alrighty, what's good everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I want to share with you how to figure a whole house of carpeting and this is for you homeowners or you newbies out there that are just trying to get a ballpark idea of what carpet's going to cost you for your property before you actually have someone come out and give you an estimate. So here is how someone would typically break down their house and we run into this all the time now that let's just assume this is your typical colonial it's a three bedroom house with a family room hallway and stairs so bedroom one's a 10 by 10 bedroom two is an 11 by 15 bedroom three is a 14 by 18 the hallway is an 11 by 4 i have 12 stairs and then there's a family room that it's 17 by 18. now most people from what i ran into They'll add all this up and they'll say, well, this is my square footage. And then they'll go ahead and have an installer come out or a store come out and give them an estimate. And they'll realize that the square footage and the material they actually need are two totally different things. So if you're trying to figure this out on your own, you have to remember that all carpet comes in 12 foot widths. So right off the bat, you have to figure for a 12 by whatever the room size may be. So this is how this should actually break down. Better one is going to be a 12 by 10 feet, six inches for material in that room. Bedroom two, 12 by 15, six. Bedroom three is a 14 by 18, so we're gonna have a seam in here. Now, just to give you an idea of how you can figure this, and we'll keep it real simple. We'll call this bedroom three. We're just gonna make it real sloppy Joe here. Do a 14 from here to here. 18 long. We're going to say the door is right here to come into the room. So we're going to need 12 by 18, 6 right off the bat, but you're going to have to fill this section here. So a 12 foot by 5 feet split into four pieces would give you enough material to keep the carpet running the same way and have some excess just to keep things simple in this video. So I would say buy a 12 by 5 for the fill. So let's go back to our main page here. Try to adjust this light a little bit. So we're going to go 12 by 18, 6. And then remember, we need the fill. So down here, I'm going to write fills. And you'll see why shortly. So we're going to do 12 by 5, bedroom three okay next we have a hallway that's an 11 by 4 so we're gonna do a 12 by 4 6 for that we have 12 steps here is the rule of thumb if you have 12 stairs and the width of them is under three feet wide a 12 by 5 will cover a flight of 12 steps when the width is under three feet wide so we're gonna do a 12 by 5 for the steps now our family room we have a similar situation here. We got a 17 by 18, so we know we are gonna have a seam. So let's get our scrap paper out again. I'm gonna write down family room. Box this off here. So we have, we'll say 17 wide. We got 18 long. So we're going to do a 12 by 18, 6, and that's going to take us to right here. But we need to fill this area. So half of 18, 6 for the fill piece, we're going to do a 12 by 9, 6, because a 12 by 9 split in half will do this section right here. So back to our main page, family room. We're going to do a 12 by 18, 6. And then for our fills down here, I want to carry that 9 and a half footer. We're gonna go 12 by nine six for the fill. Now, this is for any of you that wanna be a newer installer and take on the job yourself. A little trick I like doing is taking all the small cuts I have and combining them into one cut. So this hallway cut right here, we're gonna drag this down here and go 12 by uh, four six. And then the stair cut of a 12 by five, drag that down there. And then we're gonna add those up. So this section right here, we need a 12 by 24. Then we're gonna take this 24, the 18, six, 18, six, 15, six, and 10, six. We're gonna add every one of those up, which will bring us to a 12 by 87 feet. 
that's how much we're actually going to need versus these little room sizes. This is what you need in material. Now, as far as square yards, that converts over to 116 square yards. So as a rule of thumb, your basic mid-grade, builder-grade type carpet, you're going to pay about $2 a square foot or 18 bucks a yard. So carpet with pad and installation is going to run you on the lower side roughly $25.50. And then obviously you can get as ridiculous as you want after that, but just good rule of thumb, that's what you're looking at. But you also have to consider two other things before you wrap up this estimate. One, is there furniture? And if there is, figure $2 a square yard for that, just as a good rule of thumb again. So two times 116 is $232. And then is there old carpet to remove? If there is, Handwriting is getting extra sloppy for you right now. Figure $2 a square yard for that as well. So that'd be another 232. And because I don't feel like doing any math whatsoever, we're gonna do the 2550 plus the 230 and the 230. I'm sorry, I messed that all up there. 2088 and then the 230 and 230, which is like 2550. You don't see my cheat sheet I have off to the side here. So that's how you break down a simple print. You figure for the basic carpet and then furniture and old carpet removal. The grand total here would come out to roughly 2,500 bucks for an area of this size. And then obviously you could scale up into better carpets. So if you have any questions about this, as always comment below, I'll create a follow-up video answering any questions for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll connect with you on the next one.